video, I told y'all I was going to revisit the chronograph with the Element Max 50 cal at a full 4,500 psi fill. So we're going to do that, and then we also have a block of ballistics gel set up at 100 yards. So we'll see what these same slugs will do in the gel at that distance. 4,500 psi, and I'm going to top it off after each shot. We have the 315 grain. Eight fifty three. Okay, look at that. Pretty similar results to what we got at point blank. Although not quite as much penetration. 260 grain. Now I have no idea where these are going to hit, so I'm just going to wing it. Okay, we got another hit. Looks like a little less penetration out of the 260, but it does look like it expanded in there. Okay, now we've got the 238 grain. We're going to shoot another one because I'm not sure that I hit the gel. Still at 4,500. Okay, that one hit the gel. 965. It looks like that one just barely went in there, but it hit the ground and then bounced up through here and then went into it. So it lost a lot of energy when it hit the ground. And then the second one that I heard it hit, that one looks like it went through the cardboard as well and then left a nice wound track and came back out the bottom of the gel and went down through there. So we're gonna shoot it again, get better results. Okay, 238 grain again, 4,500 PSI. That was high, so shoot another one, still at 4,500. Okay, I finally figured out where they were hitting. That one went smack dab in the center of the gel. Looks like it only went in a few inches. Three and a quarter out of the big hollow point. About seven out of the 260 grain. And almost nine out of the 315 grain. 238 grain. Here is the 315 grain. Here is the 260 grain. Here's the one that bounced off the ground before it hit the gel. And here's the one that went through the cardboard, half the gel block, and then went in the ground. I'm doing a giveaway for this box of slugs. You'll get everything you see right here. They're all chambered in 495 
And I'm also including the slugs that we shot in the last video. The winner is going to be the first person to guess correctly which gun is in this video I'm about to show you.